There is no such thing as self-made. Self-made is a myth. I cannot stand when I see different wealthy people and different people who've succeeded in life and they claim themselves to be self-made. And the thing is, self-made does happen. Some people are self-made. But again, most of the people that are claiming to be self-made have had a lot of help. And regardless of whether you're self-made, bootstrapping it, whatever it is, you had some sort of privilege, some sort of thing that got you to the next level. You had people in your life. Even if you sell a million things of a product, those million people helped you become made because they bought your product. So it comes down to things like, we're all connected. We're not just all one thing, one person. And a really famous quote is, if you wanna go quickly, go fast, you go alone. But if you wanna go far, you go with others. So you need people in your circle. You need people to get things done. Look at anything you watch on YouTube. Look at any show. Why are the credits so dang long? You cannot do everything by yourself. So to even say that you're self-made is insane to me. And the worst part about it is when someone claims to be self-made, it's always people who their moms and dads worked at IBM and had patents. And the worst part about it is some of the people who claim to be self-made or world's youngest billionaire, all these different things, are always with people who had so much privilege. So for example, if your mom and dad knew someone who basically was your mentor at 15 years old and was getting you patents and was teaching you how to do every single thing you needed to do. And then eventually by the time you were 25 and after you graduated college, you became a billionaire from the patents you were building, the ideas, et cetera, et cetera. You weren't self-made. You were born to do this thing. You were an outlier. You had the experiences. You had the privilege. Just because your mom and dad are working in industries, it kind of goes to show it's like, wait a minute, they had steps along the way to get them to the next level. Another example of this is artists. Look at some of your favorite artists and look at what their parents do. A lot of them, their parents worked in the industry or knew someone who worked in the industry that got them their big break, that got them their thing. Not knocking their attention to their talent, right? Because again, you could be talented and have all the talent in the world and still get nowhere. But some people can have talent, a little bit more talent, a little less talent, have know someone in the game, know someone in the industry, know their next big break, boom, now they're in. So again, it's not self-made. Someone who makes it that way, they're not self-made. Their talent is real. They had the hours and extra hours of practice to do it because they knew that if they worked this much on this thing, they'd get that result because they knew how to get the next step. But that's the hard part is that next step. So when people say self-made, be really cautious and be really wary. Because me personally, I don't believe in self-made because again, you need people in your life to get things done. Using the example that I used about the guy who had a mentor at 15 that basically got him patents and taught him how to do all those things. He was an influence upon this person to then and get the level of success they ended up getting. You had that privilege, you had that experience to be able to get you to the next level. Even when it comes down to educational and environmental factors. In the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, he talks about Bill Gates and how he was in Washington and he went to this private school and where this private school, the moms are funding this computer program and then the moms are funding it because the moms had money and then one by one, you start looking at his story and he had granted he got his 10,000 hours of practice, but again, he literally had all the privilege in the world to get those 10,000 hours, even if he was privileged or not. It's the experience that he went through was way different. So your environment really matters. So was he really self-made or did he have a head start to begin with? And in doing so, your social network is much better and much larger. Your social network is my mom's a lawyer, my dad works on Wall Street. So those show that it's not the same, it's not. And it just infuriates me because people are expected to just to make it. But no, to make it, you need so many more factors to get you to that next level. You need those outliers, you need that social network, you need that privilege. But when they say self-made, they make it seem like I did it all on my own. When you have access to these resources, when you have your dad give you a small loan of a million dollars, or you working out of your garage to build this company, but your parents gave you $300,000 in 1995, there is a huge difference in wealth disparity there. So again, you might have had the best idea in the world, you were excellent, it was a great idea and it worked. But again, you weren't self-made. You had people along the way to get you to the next level. Sometimes in life, certain things are random. Certain things are luck. But again, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And that's something I always believe in or always see. What do you guys think personally about being self-made when people call themselves self-made? I personally can't stand it because I feel as if a lot of people that become self-made or proclaim to be aren't really. And have you ever noticed that all these super successful people, some of them will act like they're poor or have this like poor success story where like, yeah, you know, I slept in the couch and like, okay, but your mom and dad owned Emerald Mines in South Africa. Come on now. Like, it just don't make sense to me because it, it defeats the purpose of trying to be act like you're one of us or that you're poor. 
but you don't need to act that way. Just say, yeah, I had privilege, cool. But you have to make this fake story and then to say that, oh, we're self-made. Even me in my own personal life, I have been so privileged and so blessed to have so many opportunities in my life. And I'll always make note of that. Because again, I had privileges. I had things in my life that allowed me to get to the next level. But to not talk about it is to be sort of arrogant, sort of unforgiving to the people around you, where it's people want to be where you're at, but they don't know how because they didn't have the social network. They didn't have the influence. They didn't have the experiences. They didn't have those outliers. Oh, just anyone can do it. But no, not just anyone can do it. You need certain factors to help you in life to then get to that next level. But never give up, never quit. Do that thing that you need to get done and get to the next level of success is going to take that harder you work, luckier you get mentality. No matter where you've come from, no matter what privilege, you can make it. But just understand and give yourself a break. Understand, wait, it's going to be a little harder for me. I get that. Let me have to grind harder and stay focused on my goals. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. See you later.